This is Dr. C, and we're going to explore the Fof nose property in a little bit more detail. Turns out that in Fof, uh, nose is a association between two Fof persons. So, if you see the nose property, one can infer that there's a person on either side of that Fof nose. In uh, RDFS speak, we would say that Fof nose has a domain of person and a range of person, the kind of thing we expect at either end of that uh, Fof nose line. Now it turns out that Fof has a very, very general concept of what it means to know somebody. And in the, in the, uh, in the Fof spec, they say that it's usual for when you declare that someone knows somebody else, that that other person would be willing to reverse that relationship and that they also know you. So even though it's okay to put it in FOF, there's not going to be a violation of it, but if you see somebody every day walking down the street and they never look at you, see you, recognize you, then it would probably be not completely correct for you to say that you know that person. However, the concept of knows can be very general. So it could be possible that you're walking to work every day and you see the same person and you kind of wave at them or you say hi and you don't know them any more than that but there, there is this exchangeable knows relationship that if you know them they would know you from whatever. So you don't have to have any kind of verbal communication they may be your best friend, they may be just uh, an acquaintance you see on the bus, in which case it would be okay to say knows. Now in the early days of FOF, they actually had some additional properties. So they had something like best friend or really good pal, but that became very complicated uh, to maintain, so they basically dropped that and left it for the very simple knows relationship, which can encompass a number of different kind of ways that you may want to know somebody. In your own ontology, you may want to subclass knows to make it a more specific kind of connection to describe a connection between two people. Now, in, in addition to creating your own subclass, there's another option for making connections between individuals. So maybe they may share the same uh, other other property. For example, you have two people who sh have the same workplace homepage. So based on the fact that they both have the same a same homepage, work homepage page property, you could make some assumptions about they know each other from work. So there are a number of ways that people use this. One way on the web that they use knows is uh, if you're searching through an ontology and you find that uh, uh, an individual knows a number of other people, you may then want to find the web log of all those people and look at what they've done and just to get some, uh, some feeling for uh, the individual that you're doing a search on. But FOF knows, very common, one of the more popular ones used in the FOF vocabulary and just make sure you, you understand that it's a very general concept and you're free to use it as you wish.